Hello everyone, I am playing some Minecraft again, but I'm in a different world now, because the other one was a little boring, I couldn't find much stuff, and also I just wanted to start a new one. Okay, so let me just give you a rundown of what happened. So one day I was bored, and I started a new world, I spawned over there, and I saw a village over here, so I was like, maybe this could be a good world. So then I got here, I looked through the village, and I decided I was going to stay in one house. Just gonna transform it into my own house. And it's this one right over here. So in here, I have my brewing stand. I have three chests. I try to organize them, but I'm running out of space now. I have a furnace, a crafting table, of course. They're all on little shelves here. And I have a bed! Oh yeah, and I have a little pot with a plant. And I like it. I got lots of the boring stuff out of the way, like, as you can see, diamond armor. That takes a long time. I have sort of good enchants, only one with pretty good enchants are my boots. And so yeah, that's basically it. Or is it? No, it's not. I have a pumpkin farm for my villagers. This thing is pretty loud. But yeah, I got that working, and then you may be thinking, where are all the villagers then? Well, you see, lots of them are dead. They either died to zombies, or maybe even struck by lightning and turned into witches? Yeah, but like, maybe two or three died. So now there's no villagers. Except I kept a few, so then I could breed them. And you know what I did recently? Read them and that over there. Yeah, so I have like a sort of good entrance so then no zombies or anything can get in. And none of the villagers can get out. They're crammed in a little space, but I'm gonna open this up a little bit. So yeah, I got some silk touch. I got mending. I got looting three. And I got unbreaking three. And then also I have a farmer, which isn't that good, but he's okay. And I still need to transport this one villager that has a really good pumpkin trade. So I will be doing that soon, but for now, it's raining. Oh yeah, and I should also mention, if you haven't already noticed it, I got shaders. You can see the leaves waving and the grass waving. And you might have noticed the shading too. It's pretty good. I like it. And also there's some post-processing too. It's pretty good. And waves. These shaders are called T-shaders and they minimally affect the game, but still make it look really good. Also, as you might have noticed too, I got a resource pack. I got a vanilla tweak, so you should go check them out in the description. If it's not in the description, yell at me in the comments, please. Before I do anything else in this video, I'm gonna go transport that villager. Alright, villager, get in the minecart. There we go, time to go on a wild ride. He's gone. Actually, I still have to push him. Don't go this way, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, now time to go on a wild ride. He's on and he's off. Well, maybe once I get him up here, now he's off. But I still have to push him like I said before. Okay, so now this is the fun bit, trying to get him into the actual house. So if I just push him along, he should slowly start to make it there. Okay, he's there. So I'm gonna push him just a little bit, make sure he doesn't go into the dirt. Place block there. Now I should be able to maybe break the minecart. This is gonna be hard. There. Okay, got it. Now he is stuck in here. Yep, there we go. Now he gets in. Get in. Now place the planks. And break these. There we go. 
It's not done yet, though. I still need to place the workstation. And this here. And he should restock soon. What I'm going to do now is go into the nether. So what I'm going to do is go into nether. So I'm going to take some golden boots so the piglins won't kill me. And I'll also take some gold. I don't have too much because I spent a bunch on golden apples. I'm going to take some bridging blocks because I'm going to try find another fortress. Which I can never seem to do. Nether time, nether time, nether time. Whoa, zombies, zombies, zombies. Wait, what? <laughs> the the a villager went in my portal. That's why there were zombies. Um, what? What? Uh huh? Why are you guys in here? I guess that's where a few of them went then. Um, okay. Hi, I, I can't do anything with you, so... I don't care about you, but you, why are you here? But yeah, as you can see here, I made another hub. I just made a quick one. Like, not something too fancy or anything. Got some tinted glass here to look out. Glowstone to light up the area. You know, just normal cobblestone, deep slate, black stone. Calcite, just... Yeah, I made a gradient. And also, I made it so then it goes deeper and darker up there. But, I mean, it's okay. And I tried to put a little bit of story saying like, look at that, wow, the netherrack is coming down. And like, grabbing onto the actual floor. But, I think it worked out decently, but... If I wanted to, I could definitely make it better. Oh, piglin! Got you some gold. Okay, well I'm just gonna try wander around and find the nether fortress. Wait, what was that? Okay. How? What? It was just right there. Actually, seriously? Right there. Well, that's really good because normally on the worlds I play with my friends or in single player, there's it's normally like so far away or just in a very hidden spot. So I got a bridge. I can't speed bridge, but I'm just gonna bridge normally. So, I will see you when I get there. Oh, there's a convenient spot to go in over there. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna make like little arrows like that just to know where my way back is. Ooh, nether wart. Pretty good. <gasps> Wait, Blaze. Oh, hi, hi. Hello there. Hi. There it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know one thing I should really make? A shield. So you know what I'm gonna do? Make a shield. Before I go into the Blaze spawner, I'm going to make a shield. So then I don't die instantly. Oh. Please. Oh, nice blaze rod. What another blaze rod? I don't even have looting on this. I got two insane drop rates. Please don't kill me. Oh, that's actually insane. I was just trying to kill him with my bow, but got the return to sender. Oh, there's another one. Oh my. So many. Oh, I'm dying. Freeze. Now I can make a shield. Ah, finally a shield. In the resource packs and vanilla tweaks, I have 
the lower shield one. So it won't be as obtrusive. Okay, where I saw the other blazes last time was just up here. And then we go up. So it's to the left. And there it is. Nice. What are these drop rates? Three for three? No. I swear, guys, I'm not dream. <laughs> I'm not dream. I'm not cheating. Can we get four for four? Aw, oh, no, we can't. Okay, so there wasn't a spawner here, like I thought, but that's still fine. Nice. Two diamonds. Another saddle. Not gonna take it. So I already have three saddles. And also iron horse armor. There blazes and I see a spawner all the way up there. Okay, I'm not that lucky. Oh, okay. I'm spawned right here. Oh my gosh. Dead and no blaze drops. Finally another blaze drop. Okay, that's good. Nice, another one. So that's 10 blaze powder. There he is. Oh my gosh. He was on the roof this whole time. Oh, it did fall. I might be able to get that. It is, sir. So that's six. I could leave now, but I want to use my broom stand. Oh yeah, and some could break. Some of those eyes. Okay, so I can't find many anymore, but I'm still gonna try find some. Plus also there is that blaze spawner. I'm gonna go for it. Oh yeah. And actually there's two here. It's hard. Eight. And nine. If I- or when I get ten, I'm going to leave. Okay, I got ten, so I'm gonna leave. And I barely even use my shield. So I basically just made this for nothing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Still useful. Hey, can you please go? F. After that long time of being stressed, I'm gonna be going into the overworld. And here I am. I'm gonna take all my ender pearls, turn into eyes of ender. At the end of this video, I will show you where this goes. But first, organization. Okay, let's see where the eye of ender goes. Oh, ah, oh, that way! I will be going to the end in a few episodes, obviously. Because, do you think this is all kitted out? No, no mending even on it. So, off camera, I'm going to be getting all my armor set up, all of it. And then I'm also going to do maybe a few other things off camera. But not, like, everything, like, oh my gosh, I beat the end of the dragon, oh my gosh, this and that is off camera. No, I'm just gonna do some things, like, fix my armor. Alright. With that out of the way, goodbye guys, this was a fun episode, remember to like and subscribe, and see you all later.